Hey everybody and welcome to this installment of Color Management's Tips and Tricks. So this is something that I'm actually really, really passionate about. And I am actually get kind of pissed off because people just still don't get how destructive it can be to not honor an embedded profile when making a conversion from RGB to CMYK. Now this scenario may not happen every time, but it is commonplace. And it does happen and it does happen more often than you'd like. So here's the scenario. You create an image which you think is absolutely stunning. You have done everything correctly. You've color corrected it and made it look beautiful on your calibrated screen. You've output, you know, Epson proofs and or done something to your RGB printer and made it look as good as it can. You've submitted a high gamut RGB file to the pre-press shop in hopes that they will do the right thing to convert it to CMYK in the right flavor for their printing condition. Okay, here's where it falls apart. Most people should use the embedded profile when receiving a file to do conversion. That is the standard. But a lot of people in the pre-press industry feel like color management will do a detriment and they don't want to harm your image. So they think they're going to do you a, a service by not honoring it. So let's go through the two possible scenarios. The first one is if I open this image and I use the embedded profile instead of my working space, okay? Here I've got it set to sRGB as my working space and Adobe is what's embedded in the file. So I open up my image and wow, that looks really nice. Let's open up another copy of that, but this time, Let's do what a lot of pre-press shops do. And hey, listen, I'm sorry, pre-press shops, but I worked in pre-press shops and I know that a lot of people don't use the embedded profile. They think not color managing is the best way to go because they don't want to screw it up. But the reality is you are screwing things up. This bottom option should never be used ever. I don't, I mean, the only time I could ever see using is maybe if you're printing a profiling chart and you want to leave the numbers exactly as they are. This is, never should be used. Basically, it should say, I don't give a crap. I am not going to use your embedded profile. So watch what happens when I open this image and I don't use the embedded profile. Now, hopefully you can see this on your screen on this video, but on my screen, the one on the left, she looks like she has a nice rosy cheeks, bright, vibrant color. The background magenta is bright. On this one, the background has gone to a purple. Her hair has gone darker. Her skin has lost saturation by at least 20%. So we've got already a massive disconnection from the original file. So why is that happening? Why is the one on the right look so different? Well, Photoshop has to use something in order to interpret the pixels that are sent to it. So when you tell it that its profile is Adobe, it knows the Adobe color space because it has it as a reference and it will display it properly. You saved it as Adobe, it uses Adobe to preview it along with your monitor profile. Bingo, looks correct. One on the right looks wrong because it is improperly assigned sRGB. Well, we don't know that yet, but I do. It's, it's assigned the wrong profile. So where does this fall apart? Well, basically Photoshop has to use something to preview your image, okay? So Photoshop will fall back on whatever is set in your working space to preview a file when you don't honor the embedded profile. So watch what happens when we change it. Now it's using Profoto, not good either. Now it's using Color Match, Apple, and Adobe. Hey, look what happens when you put Adobe on. It looks exactly the same. So if their working space was set to the same as your images, embedded and they'd said not honor, it would work. But chances are a lot of places are using sRGB. So Photoshop will fall back on your working space when it doesn't have an embedded profile. It's got to use something. So the fact that you say that you're not color managing it, crap, you are. You're still color managing, you're just color managing it incorrectly, right? It's crazy. So just, it actually pisses me off that Adobe lets that still be there for people to mess with files. I don't think it should be there. I don't think Adobe should allow you to not color manage an RGB file. That's my thinking, right? Unless there's a specific situation like printing a profile chart. Okay, so now the pre-press shop is going to convert to CMYK. Most of them are gonna do a blind CMYK conversion. You're about to convert this using the swap web coded profile. Yeah, 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 great. Okay, slight degradation. Let's convert the 
improperly opened one to CMYK. Bingo again. They still look relatively similar, but the one on the right looks wrong. Why does it look wrong? Because Photoshop will use source and destination to make a conversion. Its source was this, and it'll try to match that when it goes to CMYK. So that's your final CMYK that's going to press, and that's your final CMYK that's going to press if they honored the embedded profile. So long and the short of this, this example, anytime you're opening an image, always use the embedded profile. Never, ever discard the embedded profile if you're going to be making a color conversion. If you do, you run the risk of discarding an immense amount of information and improperly displaying it and then improperly converting it. So hopefully this will go away someday and hopefully people will stop with the stupidness of discarding the profile.